are so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Looking We're forward to it. We're excited to show you around. So We're excited let's go to take be a here. Look. All let's right. Go. So one of our activities is a, a metaphor for our words, right? The power of words. Um, we squeeze out all of this and then we try to put it back in the tube. So we talk about the impact of our words and how we can't really take back what we put out there. Go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> and y'all are going to have 30 seconds to get as much toothpaste back into the tube as you can. Ready? Mark, one, two, three, go! And then the other activity we're going to do is, um, I'll be quiet, it's glitter. How is glitter like gossip? And basically how it sticks, it's flashy, it's fun, but it gets stuck to you. It doesn't just go away. What you just saw was the introduction part of the three gates. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea behind the three gates is, unless you can answer yes to each of those questions, you stop right there. You're trespassing. So for instance, if my wife says, uh, how does this dress make me look? <laughs> well, is it true that it doesn't make her look very flattering? Yes. So do I need to say something? Yes, I need to say it. Okay. So I'm through the first gate. Is it necessary that I tell her that it doesn't make her look very flattering? Well, given on this particular one, if she goes out, she would be, she would want to know. So it's, it's maybe necessary I tell her. If I turn around and said, it makes you look like a cow, honey, then it wasn't kind. And so I've got to think, how about I say it? So anywhere along the way, if you can't check yourself and say yes to all of those three things, then you shouldn't say it. Right. And it really gets into gossiping because most of the time what I hear it is, you heard somebody say something. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to talk about the fact is if you didn't hear it directly, then you got to stop right there at the first gate. Yeah. It's, you, you don't, don't know that it's true. true. So you right. cannot stop right there. And so that's the context with which we're using this lesson with the kids. It's really great. The most and the important thing is you got to look in the camera and make sure your wife knows she's beautiful. Honey, right. you were fantastic. And I was just a metaphorical example of something that was fantasy. It was totally fantasy, <laughs> not true. Good save. <laughs> don't put that in the thing. <laughs> So we're going to go into seventh grade science, mm -hmm. and they have been working on argument-driven inquiry. Um, it is a, a design process or a research process that has about eight stages in it, where they go from the beginning of what's our question to designing their experiments all the way through to collecting their data, presenting their data, and doing peer review. So you're trying to figure out which organism is most likely to survive a volcanic eruption? Yes. Oh, do you have a prediction yet? Definitely the ones that are... Um, that reproduce asexually will probably survive and be able to like regenerate quicker. Okay. We're talking about uh, story endings because they're writing um, creative stories and so we're focusing on endings today and so the main thing is making sure that they resolve their conflict. So, so, so tell us, okay, so you're writing a story and tell us about uh, just real briefly what it's about and, and why you chose that as your topic because okay. it's your own story you could write okay. whatever you wanted so yeah i wrote um about a kid who throws a piece of paper at his teacher because it, it was for a dare and he wanted to do it because he thought it would, be, it, would be, it would be funny and he got caught and his, he got suspended from school and he didn't tell his mom about it so here's my question right now y'all were talking about the climax of the stage so you, you thought a little bit about what the climax is and how it's going to go from yeah. so does it end well for this kid or not it does because he, his mom doesn't find out about it. Really? That's, that's the message well, we want to send? Well, I was, try, I, was, I was trying to figure out if he, should, if he should, if his mom should find out about it or should not. I haven't really, I mean, I've cho I kind of chose, but I'm still kind of thinking about it. Well, don't it. let me change your mind. It's your story, right? right? You right. get to write whatever you yeah. want. But, yeah, right. uh, okay. So I just may not give it to other middle schoolers if the kid gets away in the end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so some of our school board members are here. And Hi. they don't know what you're all about. Can you explain to us what's going on, what you do, and then tell us what's the most important part about it? Our school relies a lot on technology, and us as students often need to learn life skills to help others out. So we have Hawk Squad, which uh, teaches us how to help other students uh, fix their computer problems. Cool. What's the best thing about this, and what's the worst thing about this? And we'll cut the worst part out. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say the best thing about this is just meeting some of the other students here and actually talking to them, because oftentimes we're in our own little bubble, and we don't talk to a lot of people. And the worst thing about this in, is probably when there's not a lot of people here, because it gets a little slow. Oh, and we'll, I'll take, as, <laughs> as principal, I will take that problem. <laughs>